Welcome back to another episode of Bite of Moab. That's right, the G is silent. I am not. We're going to be checking out Spirit Fairer Farewell Edition. See, I played 10 minutes, so I already know that it's going to work on the Steam Deck. But, no, I want to show you all how it plays. Uh, we'll show you how this kind of chill and cozy... What do you call a life... It's not really a life management game, but it's not really a farming game either. It's It's kind of a platforming management game so you'll see it's but one thing it is it's cozy and it's chill so uh let's get cozy and chill let's go thunder lotus there we go I'm going to click continue, but first off, let's go into the video. Full screen, 1280 by 800, high, high, texture streaming, disabled, enabled. And uh, let's dive on into the game. So I already got my 1% done, so uh, let's, let's go. You can do local co-op apparently, so maybe if you had a two Blu-ray controllers, you might be able to do it. So let me show you, take you around the ship. So you can jump around here. You can even jump into the water. Now, this is kind of like a Studio Ghibli game where it feels like uh, it, everything's animated and just has very nice details added to it. So, uh, yeah. Here you can actually fish if you wanted to. This is a pretty cool aspect of it where you can just go fish. Okay, so you do have to hold down the X button. And there we go. We got a herring. Okay, let's talk to this dear lady. I actually did play this quite a bit on the Xbox Game Pass, which I think it still is part of it. So, uh... Okay, so that uh, cutscenes to that. Cool. Look at Albert. What a deep and boisterous laugh. Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new spirit fairer? You assumed correctly, Mr. Albert. <laughs> it sounds like that. You know, it would be kind of cool if there was a voice actor for every single voice, but then then you run to the issues of, you know, other languages. So, uh, it could get expensive for indie developers. But for the time being, this is quite fine. Go to the blueprint table and uh, do some upgrades. Can't afford that. Beginners. Cool. Okay. So now we go back to the boat. Let's focus on a task. Yeah, let's uh, clean this stuff up. I think we gotta go back into here. Well, that's the navigate the ship. So this is your map that you go and look around the places you want to go and uh, you think it's going to be like you're sailing over there but really it's uh, it's not like that, it actually just, it's a 2D plane. So it's kind of like you're watching an anime or a cartoon. Let's edit this ship. There we 
go. Subarashi. Thanks. Okay, now we gotta... We can build stuff. Okay, let's uh... Oh, we need some more materials. Let's build a guest house. There we go. Sweet. Let's hug. Okay, <laughs> never mind then. We're getting a solid 60 FPS, so I think if you're worried about this running out uh, or having really choppy frames, you know, put your mind at ease because it's it runs great. Oh, she's hungry. Get the kitchen. Okay, so now we gotta go to a specific dark place. Okay, let's uh, set sail for the dark jelly. Oh, you gotta go down here. Okay, let's see where we go. In the meantime, let's do some fishing. See, this is a just kind of a chill, relaxing game. You just kind of turn your brain off and just just enjoy the ride. It's not extremely stressful, thankfully. So, if you had a long day at work and just want something to sit down, enjoy a game, this would be it. And you don't want to have to feel like you have to manage everything, like in Stardew Valley or any kind of Harvest Moon game, where you have, oh no, I got uh, 20 minutes in a day and I gotta figure out what to do and uh yeah this is this is a lot more relaxing you know what a lot of the games uh like stardew valley and a couple other cozy games uh coral island i always did like the fishing aspect of it you know it's just kind of a chilling and a relaxing type of experience so let's go talk to this girl. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so we can grab those. Okay, so that's how that's done. Okay, so... Looks like we're gonna have to get a little bit higher for some of these. Oh, there's a big one. There we go. Let's see if we can get this one. Wow, there's a lot of jellies here, or glims. That's what they call those things. That's pretty cool. Come right to me. There you go. Nice.
Can I edit? Yeah, let's just move that over here. So it's a little bit closer. Thanks. Let's go build a kitchen. Oh, you can do it up. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's let's just do it that way then. That, that, that'd be cool. I do have it. Let's cook. Awesome popcorn. Let's see about cooking some other stuff. Oh, fish. Oh, the fish is going to take a while. He's <laughs> just jumping all around like a crazy person. Yeah, how's your day going so far, everyone? You know, is it? Is it nice? You know? You've been out there socializing with people. I know sometimes that can be kind of scary, but... You know what? It's good if you can socialize. Even if you don't like huge crowds of people and talking. You know, even try to find one or two people and just a small group of people you can kind of... You know, have some similarities with and just talk with them. Socializing is good and healthy for you. And uh, it's good for your mental health. So, definitely do it. And I think our fish is about done. Awesome. Grilled fish. Okay, let's uh, give her some grilled fish. Do a field and garden. That's a uh, most teen cove. Okay, we'll go there. So, Mustang's Cove is right over here. And in the meantime, let's do some more fishing. like a good old shoe. Actually, while we're waiting to get over there, I'll go and uh, cook some more stuff. I just cook five of them. That might take a while, though. That's cool. In the meantime, we'll go fish some more. I wonder if you catch different fish at night. I guess we'll uh, find out now. Ooh, heron. Cool. See the moon coming up over there? That's a pretty cool graphic. Mm, old shoe. Tastes that boiled leather. What are you doing, kitty cat? You pretend like you're a human. You're not a human. You're a kitty cat. You're playing with a ball of stars or some sort of glowy orb thing. Some more herons. That's good. You never have too many herons. Mustang Cove discovered. Awesome. Oh wow, still a little bit of time.
Okay, so this will take us to the island. I wonder if they'll cook in the background. Uh, I guess we'll come back and see if it's uh, burnt up or what. Okay, let's uh, cut down the tree. Okay, so you have a saw. Okay, that's cool. Oh, so you do that. Nice. Okay, so that's how we get logs, and we can harvest stuff here. I like that there's no stamina meter. That oh, you've done so much that you can't do anything else. You know, I, I like that about the game. Oops. <laughs> Looks like it blew up or something. Okay, so if you hold it too long, it just fall over on you. Okay. Nice. Got ourselves some limestones. Okay, that's the end of the island. Let's go back. And hopefully we didn't overcook the fish. If that is such a thing. <laughs> that cat is uh, rolling on a ball. That seems like something you'd see in Dragon Ball Z. So uh, I think that's pretty cool. You know, there's a lot of anime influence here. And I, I think that's cool. It, it really is. Let's head back to the the raft, as she says. Ooh, we gotta check the That's about ready. Stops at night, okay. Grab a dindin. There we go. Grilled fish. Beautiful. Can't really do anything with the seeds yet. Let's see, there's also a garden, but you need lightning and a bottle and a couple maple logs. So for the time being, we'll just uh, have Stella go to sleep. Sleep till morning. Well, as you all can see, this is a very, very cozy game, and I think uh, if you're into these types of games, you're gonna, you're gonna love this. And at the time of filming, I think Spirit Fair is still in the humble choice for about eleven, twelve dollars. So, honestly. I think it's definitely worth it, especially worth playing in 2023. If you just got a Steam Deck, it's one of those must-play type of games for the Steam Deck, I think. Uh, it's just so unique in how you play it. It's, it really is a beautiful game, and the soundtrack to afford it is just phenomenal. So uh, definitely check it out if you ever get the opportunity. And with that, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the like button, notification bell for updates. Um, comment below your favorite part of the video. Comment any other kind of game videos you'd like to see on this channel. And you know what? Be sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. With that, thank you so much for your time, and I hope you have a great and fantastic rest of your day. Take care, and God bless.